The case involving the disappearance of Gabby Petito has certainly started a conversation about missing people. Petito went missing and it really opened the wound for many others who are searching for their loved ones. Tonight we hear from Indianapolis parents searching for their daughter. Our Emily Longnecker sat down with them today as they wait for any word on what happened to Kirsten. This is Kirsten. Sorry I can't get to the phone, but if you leave a message, I'll be sure to get back to you. That's the voice message Lisa Bruggerman has called just to listen to nearly every day for almost the past nine months. It's just unbearable sometimes. It's the voice of Lisa's only child, 26-year-old Kirsten Bruggerman, who's been missing since January 2nd. We're, we are in this kind of limbo that it's like you can't move on. It's uh, obviously it's a parent's worst nightmare. You know, um, it, it never goes away. It can't. That's because Lisa and her husband Rex have no answers about what happened to their daughter. The last time Lisa talked to Kirsten was January 1st when she called her mom to say she didn't need a ride home from work because she was going out for drinks with friends. I fell asleep and it was about 1230 that I woke up and uh, again, as I've said, mother's intuition or whatever, I, I knew something was wrong. But when Lisa tried to call Kirsten to see when she'd be home. Phone was off. I texted her um, over and over. I called her several times and, you know, her phone was always off and there was just nothing. The Bruggermans later learned from Kirsten's friends that they all left the Irish mutt on Shadeland Avenue around midnight. She'd had too much to drink, and they were getting ready to leave. They offered to take well, her Well, they home. offered to take her home, but, but she, she wanted to go with them. They kind of got fed up with her and drove off, and she just went her own way. The Bruggerman say police have video from area businesses showing Kirsten walking down Short Ridge Avenue. The last image the Bruggermans have of their daughter comes from surveillance cameras at this YMCA on North Short Ridge Road. It was about 2 a.m. when cameras captured video of Kirsten walking through this parking lot. It's like she vanished. <laughs> I hate to use that word, but that's, that's what it appears to have happened. <sighs> the Bruggermans can't help but fear the worst. She never would have left her dog. Um, you know, her phone was turned off that night. It's never been turned on. It's never yet. been turned on since. Um, she, her bank account was not touched. I know that miracles happen, but I also know that if she could, she would be in contact with us. So these parents wait for any word about what happened to their daughter. That's all they can do. You just feel so helpless.